especially during this, the start of the pandemic, I was really complaining. Complaining because things becomes more difficult. I'm working with a school in our diocese. I'm handling six parochial schools. And on the first academic year, last 2020, almost 40% of our students left us. And the financial stability of the school is being threatened. Kaya I was complaining already. And to the point that somehow I want to suggest already to my superior, let us close down already the school. But upon reflection, I realize that the school is not a business for us. We establish the school for the mission of Christ. In a most difficult situation, the more that we are needed to be there. Because when you are in a mission, pag hindi na kung pag masyado na komportable yung buhay mo, you're not already in a mission. Because missionary works are needed in a most difficult and challenging situation. Kaya nga sabi ko, the more that we are needed, the more that we will try to survive this pandemic. Because people need us. People need us to form the children despite of the limitations that we are encountering in education. And I think a lot of us are fun also of complaining. But we forget that we are in mission. Because every time we are asked, do you believe in Christ? We loudly say, yes, we believe in Christ. And when we are believers of Christ, we are disciples of Christ. And a disciple of Christ is always in mission. That's why when we stop thinking and believing that we are disciples of Christ, when we distance ourselves from Christ, we start complaining. We start complaining about challenges, difficulties, problems in life. That's why with your brothers and sisters, today the Lord is reminding us the things that we should be, that we should put in our mind when we are in mission. Christ sent his disciples pair by pair. Not alone. Because Christ is reminding us to do His mission, we should be a witness of one another. Because when we are witness, when there is a witness in the mission that we are doing, we remain humble. And there will be somebody who will remind us to stay on ground. When we do our mission, we do our mission not to compete with one another, to outdo one another. Spreading the gospel of Christ is not a competition with fellow Christians, with fellow believers of Christ. We should complement. We should help. We should share our talents, our resources, so that we could reach more people and bring people closer to Christ. Yun yung problema minsan sa atin sa community or even sa parishes. We tend to compete. We tend to compete sino uupo malapit kay Father. We tend to compete sino maunang makakalapit kay Brother Bo. Kaya pag mayroon ng picture kay father, kay brother ko, so, yan. Parang araw-araw, ipopost mo sa my day mo, no? Parang it becomes you a saint, no? Parang, parang masyado ka ng, parang baka it ka dahil ang doon sa picture. Being a disciple of Christ is not that way. We, we, 
become witness of one another. We become brothers and sisters of those also working in the field or in the harvest that the Lord is inviting us to be his laborers. The Lord is also reminding us of what makes us secure as disciples of Christ. I think during this pandemic, ito yung concern natin, security. Wala na akong pera, paano yung trabaho ko, paano yung negosyo ko. But the Lord is reminding his disciples, don't bring anything. Don't bring anything except my word. Because the word of Christ, which is he himself, is enough. When we are doing the mission of Christ, Christ himself is enough. Christ himself will provide our needs. Kasi hindi ka nang pagbayaan ng Diyos. Pag alam ng Diyos, gumagawa ka ng mga bagay para sa Kanya. He will sustain you. I think this is one of my experiences during this pandemic. I was worried with my personal needs no? at the start of the pandemic to the point I have slept, sleepless nights already. But there are instances when the Lord will remind me, why are you so worried? Because suddenly, He will provide during the most unexpected times. And true enough, a lot of us during this pandemic, surprisingly, no, there are a lot of incidents may dumarating the graces, blessings to us unexpectedly in times that we are really in need. Merong dumating na tulong. Especially when we become more prayerful, more deep with our faith. Kaya my dear brothers and sisters, when we do the works of Christ, the mission of Christ, nothing should worry us because Christ will provide our provision, our needs, because we're doing the works of Christ. And lastly, in the gospel we heard, after sending by prayers, the disciples went back rejoicing because they see no, that really God is with them in their mission. <coughs> My dear brothers and sisters, the source of joy and happiness is Christ. 